Okay, so today we're going to walk through how to change the page width on a uh, LearnDash course. Could be a lesson or could be a topic. Um, but what I've got on the screen right now is a fairly typical setup where you have a, a sidebar on the left hand side, then you have your LearnDash content sitting over here. And if you'll look at this learn dash content you'll see the issue and that is that there's a lot of spacing out here now by default in learn dash or with many of the themes out there there's no way to change that spacing so we're going to have to target it with some custom css i'm going to jump over to my css editor over here and the first thing we're going to do is look at what areas we have here. This entire green background area that we're showing is actually targeted by this CSS rule. And this is all within Learn Dash. They're all Learn Dash CSS selectors. So it should work on whatever theme that you have. I'm going to show you here then. I'm going to turn this rule on, this border. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this border on. This is the one I want. And you can see by adding this border, that selector rule targets this entire area. So if I want to change the spacing for the entire area, that's the uh, selector set that I'm going to use. And I do want to point out that there is another area. So if I'm looking at this top area, this top area is actually added in uh, by a Beaver themer theme part. But the actual Learn Dash lesson is further down the page. And I'll show you what I mean there because I'm going to go to this one. And it's a slightly different selector. And you'll see now there's a border around this area. So this area is the actual learn dash content this is what learn dash inserts for their component you really can't control this i mean you can hide it with css so on and so forth but uh, this whole area is what's controlled uh, or is the actual learn dash content insert so you can actually control the two of these areas a little bit uh, separately the difference between those two, and I'll put this in the notes and such, but the difference between these two is for the more restrictive, just the learn dash content, I'm also adding on this CSS selector qualifier in there in addition to this. So what I've had highlighted here will select the outer area what i have if i add on this selector or qualifier then it selects this interior area which is just the content so if we want to change the page width i'm going to go and uh, turn that rule on that i have here and that's a rule that i have right here and what I'm doing now with this is I'm just selecting the outside area and then I'm setting my max width, my padding uh, around and some margins. So if I then turn that rule on, you'll see that that immediately pushed everything over. It increased my width over here and um, you can also see it expanded the outside here. So um, let me go and turn those borders off. That's now what my content width looks like. So it's pretty easy to change. Uh, you just need to uh, use these selectors. And, oh, by the way, I did want to mention that, you know, Learn Dash has courses, lessons, topics. The same selectors work is all you need to do is in here instead of saying courses you're going to say lessons you're going to re replace courses everywhere you see it so instead of saying courses here courses here and courses here i would change that to lessons 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 or topics 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 and uh, that will then apply to the other uh, content types so hopefully that's helpful
If you need any other questions or help, just drop me a line.